Jerome. It's a smallish city of yellow sand, strong winds, and crashing waves. I lived there the majority of my life. The majority of my life being years ago. This place is a stark contrast to Newman where I live now. Iron rich red dirt covers even the air and cloudless sky of a small town hundreds of kilometres from ocean. It's funny that in all my time spent in Jordan I never learned to take a bus. And not knowing yet to hail to stop it, my first attempt had me stand at the bus stop and watch it drive past me, undeterred by my presence. In Jordan there is never no sound, always howling wind near the shores of the beach, strong enough to shake fences and accompany your ears as you sleep. The wind from the beach curls your hair and leaves grains of sand that remain for weeks. When I see myself in my head, I imagine that curled puff of hair, little yellow specks covering and seaming its rough strands, never coming off. Of course, I don't like thick hair and it's happily shave it off every year for the world's greatest shave. But when I think of myself, I see a kid in pre-primary smiling and looking at his reflection on a drinking fountain, or years later looking in the mirror of his home, smiling once again at a sandy puff upon his head that he had not seen in years. In a bush, the day after Halloween, there was a kitten, feral, probably no more than two weeks old. Felix is my cat, although I did not name him, and his black fur sheds itself constantly, layering the land and air of my bedroom like the red dirt in and around my red town, or the yellow sand that blows from the heavy winds of Geraldton. I love that cat. He does little but sleep, although playing in short bursts, full of energy. I see myself in that cat and certain properties of myself, and I see with that cat potential energy held like a stretched elastic, spontaneous action contrast to typical moments. The way property is given, the way meaning is applied to something where it does not make sense, curled hair, thick and covered in sand, is how I see myself, and it through an old water fountain of an even older school. Geraldton and Newman are the only places I've lived. These two places, so different in appearance and purpose, share the title as my home. For me, it has always been the red dirt, yellow sand, and the nickelback seat I take the transition between them both. Sure.